Hello, my beautiful girlies. I am so stressed and I have so much stuff to do. Like my to-do list at the moment is crazy. And I figured, you know, a lot of the times you actually get the most things done in the mornings. Why not try to wake up at 5.30 a.m. So I'm about to get ready for bed so that tomorrow I get at the butt crack of dawn and I won't be beyondly tired. I hope so. I feel pretty good. I'm awake, I'm here, I'm ready to get our day going. It's gonna be great. It's currently 6.04. Now, usually I wouldn't like actually eat this in the morning. I figured I'd eat this, so just like fill my tum tum just a little bit. It's not the best, obviously for like a breakfast. No, a breakfast. You know what I mean? You know, this is actually quite nice. I feel like the difference between today and yesterday, the fact that I have these extra, like, two hours technically, makes all the difference. I haven't touched my phone yet, and I think that these first few hours without phone and being able to, like, just be one with myself, I feel like it's gonna make my day better. Now, of course, we're gonna need to, like, see that if I'm not, like, dead on a couch in the next, like, five hours, or if, like, I'm able to actually just keep it up and get stuff done, because, like, even right now, my eyes are burning. Anyways, there's just my hot take for you. Let's go to the other room. What a great way to start your day. I'm loving today. So glad that I decided to do this. Gotta finish my book. So, turns out I actually have like nothing to do today really, but I guess this has helped me to get so much done. It's like just now turning 7 a.m. So, I'm gonna go with my phone now. I'm happy from now 5.56 a.m. And yet it looks like it's like 4.56 a.m. This whole daylight savings thing is setting me back like a ton. But I have to hold strong because if I give into this, oh, it's not gonna work. Well, our goal for today is to be able to get breakfast ready for everyone because we have an early morning today. My mom wants us to go somewhere. I have to get this stuff done so that I can still get some of my stuff done before we leave and I can still feel productive today. Let's just get cooking. I'm wasting my time. that I'm waking up just a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes we have those days and that's okay. At least I woke up, at least I'm getting stuff done. We gotta give ourselves a nice little pat on the back for that one. Okay, well, I finished that. Now I need to go and shower. I need to get ready for the day so that by the time we eat, we can leave and I've done at least something in our day. Also, look how beautiful. By the time it hits this moment where like everyone's awake, we're all ready for breakfast, it's all very much so worth it waking up that early. Like by this time I'm like, okay, we're good. I enjoyed waking up. Okay, so we're on a time schedule, which means I had to eat super fast, but I was able to eat. I feel a little bit more nutritionized. So now I have got to get myself a little bit more ready so that I don't look like this. You know, I'm gonna be honest, doing the billionaire routine really opened my eyes to like different routines that I could be doing. And I just feel so much more productive. Like I feel like, gosh, I can get so much done today. why I love actually waking up early. Cora, what time do you wake up at? Well, normally 6.30. See? And look at her. She's ready. Gotta learn from her, but now I'll be able to get all my other stuff done after this activity that we are leaving to go do. I'd say it was a 10 out of 10 morning. It's 1 a.m. and I just woke up shaking with like the worst, the worst pain I think I've ever ever felt in my life. Everything's tensing up for the one 
Worst night of sleep that I have ever gotten in my entire life. I probably got about two hours of sleep, so I did not wake up at 5.30, sadly. I was up from 1 a.m. to 4 or 5-ish a.m. Puking, almost fainting, like shaking. But here's a little, like, nice sign for you. Life's not always perfect, and we go through some crap, too. So, this is your sign to take a day off. I know I said last night, we're not gonna take a day off, so. Break my heart if you want to Well, I really don't mind That's how much I want you Yeah, yeah I know it's only been three weeks And you're a little insecure But let me tell you what I'm feeling I'm so comfy So, I'm honestly a little bit bummed Because today is Today is completely throwing off my entire idea my entire schedule one day where you kind of like are thrown off and it just you don't follow that routine it kind of makes a big difference and so i'm really worried and stressed because i want this to work <sighs> i know this sounds like so dumb i know this sounds so dumb you're like dude just go to bed but actually these last few days of doing this it's actually helped and brought so much light to me but i really have just been in this like huge slump so i know that like doing this is gonna help me and it is going to take me out of this and it is very necessary but i mean hey when moments like these happen you gotta just make the best of it so i really am gonna optimize my time do as much as i still can today even though i didn't wake up early and we're gonna make the most of today even though <sighs> Everything inside of me is hurting right now. I have some more things I get I need to get done. I am still like sitting and resting, so I think I'm gonna use that. I wish there was a way to like really show you and explain to you like what it is I'm feeling and what's going on. So, anyways. Dang, y'all look at that. The sun's already starting to rise. What? So I know that I mentioned like I wanted to not be on electronics the first like hour or so. But because of the time difference, I wanted to check out like some work real fast. Ooh, it's nice and chilly though. Good thing I grew up. I have a blanket. I gotta make sure you don't fall asleep. Okay, well, it turns out I don't need to. So I can read my book. getting like super distracted i was able to read a lot actually i got a lot of reading in but this thing this thing right here i need to like make a better plan and kind of like my perspective on my phone and what i want it to be used for so that i'm not wasting my time on it we're gonna see if my stuff's done Get some more work done baby yeah so it's still not ready i guess that just means i can look at a few things I keep getting distracted with my phone. It's now 8 a.m. I did get a bunch of work done and I got some reading done. My beautiful notebook. I gotta make sure I actually got my stuff done that I needed to yesterday. We don't have too many things, but we're gonna start off by getting my thumbnail done. Okay, great, we did it. I got it done. I feel like that one's the best. I kind of toggled with it just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> she was so sleep. I was like, oh, I wish that could be me right now. Oh, I feel like when I have my camera on, when I'm actually like, have you guys here, it keeps me way more accountable. Okay, we got it. So because I'm really trying to start uploading twice a week, I have to film a lot more and I need to stay ahead on all of like the different videos. I could do this. We can do this. This is gonna be good. I do need to actually write some stuff though. Breakfast is ready. 
start today at an average of four hours and 13 minutes. That means I have to keep my day total under two hours to get it under four hours total. I've been on my phone for about an hour and a bit already. There's just something else that I love about like doing the dishes. It's very like aesthetically pleasing to me basically. Let me tell you, it's starting to get way harder to wake up early. I cannot keep my eyes open. But that's okay. We got this. I gotta hold strong. I can't give in to my, like, desire to just, like, sleep in. I went to bed at, like, 10 last night. I got seven and a half hours of sleep, so we gotta go. I got stuff to get done. We got things to do today, so I gotta get work done first. This isn't exactly how I'd want my routine to go. Always just like waking up and immediately like getting work done. This is just because like the last two days I've had a ton of stuff that we're doing the rest of the day. So like my morning routine has to be the most important things that I have to get done that day. Like the benefits of waking up early have been me having to get like all my work done. I can like barely keep my eyes open right now. Like my eyes are like burning. Almost done. Almost got everything ready. It's now 6.30 a.m. It's getting brighter. Like, I feel like that's how bright it was at 5.30 the first time that I woke up. I gotta go through like a ton of different photos for a thumbnail. Oh, but I think that I just want to like lay down and do it. And I won't fall asleep because I know I have to get this done. It's just like a little treat for me, basically. Good morning. What time did you wake up, Dad? Uh, six. I woke up at 5.45. <gasps> Anyways, I was able to get a bunch of stuff done. I'm feeling much more energized, energetic. I think I'm going to write out a little bit more of a daily plan and like goals because I did get the most important parts that I need to done. However, that does still mean I have a couple hours at the end of the day and I am going to still need to be productive and not just sit scrolling my phone. <gasps> There's like a frick ton of bunnies. There's like six things of bunnies, mom. Look at all the frickin' bunnies. Okay, anyways, what I'm trying to say, I'm gonna write out a list, all the things that I need to get done so that I can still be productive. Right, Evie? There we go. 